Hello everyone, welcome back to the node concept and today we have the object info node. So uh, I guess we have now uh, a pattern of how we are going to do the next few nodes. So there are like four remaining nodes and then we will move on to the vectors. Okay, so uh, today we have that thing, object info, so oh, I should not have to delete that. Alright, so we're gonna add in the cube back and we're gonna need four cubes like that. So, uh, let's just bring on the compositor as well, I mean, no editor, and add in a new material on that. So, we'll call this info object, no need that object, alright, so, shift D, shift D, shift D, alright, so we have four objects. Now, uh, to add in an object uh, ID, we have to select them, go to the object panel, and and go down over here the relation and select path index okay so defaultly each of them will have zero so you can just change that to one two eight two and select that three and like that four okay looks good right so let's just uh get into the materials now damn cars <laughs> Some vehicles outside. All right. Anyways, let's just add an input. 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 Where's that object info? Okay. So basically, it has four things over here: location, which is a vector, really awesome one, and object index, which are going to do via this, and a material index that is another weird thing, and random. So heh, location. Firstly, you can see that each of them will give different color so these two are giving a black and these two are giving a red color so uh, why is this happening let's just go to a new layer add in a UV sphere okay and we're gonna add in the same material over here info and press it that you'll see it is having a zero I mean a black color so uh, this, this location is actually a bit different from uh, what you call over here is the geometry position so pretty different Position, what it does is it uh, considers uh, the vectors of every surface, every point on the surface. So, this point over here, and this point, and that point, whichever you can see. So, every point is treated differently, and they give their own vector uh, showing the direction and the position where they are in the world space. So, you can see. So, this is more on uh, the, uh, the red axis, and this is equally on blue, and things like that. So, that's the thing, and what the location does is it takes in consideration of uh, this origin point over here, that orange little dot you can see, right? And it gives a single color based upon uh, the mix of all the three vectors which are acting over at that point. So that's why it's kind of orange over here because it's mixed of quite some green and red, and you can just no, we'll grab it over here and there, and you will see uh, behind the z uh, behind the axis it will go black at all the points behind uh, the zero. So now its location is something negative, but it will give a black color. And over here you can see and different colors. So this is what it is actually happening over here. So this is the difference between the location and the position. And oops. Or G. So uh, there is our cubes. Next, let's go on to the object index. Now uh, we did that thing right uh, before we get into the location. That thing over here, path index in the relation tab on the object info thing over here. <laughs> object data over here. All right, object data. Whatever. So huh, let's just add in a uh, color mix RGB. Just connect it over there. Diffuse to output. And let's just have two contrasting colors, green, and let's go with red. Okay, now, if I add in the object index over here, and press it set, that you can see each of them is red. So, one can say it's not working, but if uh, only one of them is having an object index, and the rest of them are not, then you can see if uh, these all have object index of zero and this is having one, so now object index can be you know used over here as a factor, and those who are having zero will get it green, and those who are not having it, 
zero are getting red so <laughs> pretty interesting now let's what will happen if they have different object index so we have over here is an old setup for that so uh, let's just add in a converter mat so lot of mats going over here greater than and another we're gonna go uh, make it less oops sorry less than okay looks good let's just plug it over there and now we're gonna you know play around with the value of the thing over here so uh we want this three right so uh, we want this thing to have the red color not uh any other of them so uh this has the object index of three so we are gonna have uh to get the value of three over here so a uh, value greater than 2.9993 is three and a value of uh 3.001 is three so we're gonna multiply these two again with math over here over here let's just multiply three. so why are we using multiply because you know value less than uh value greater than this will be having one and value less than this will be having one and one and one will get multiplied and just find that and ta -da! so we have that thing over here right so now you can just play around with that now if you want this one then go 1.999 and over here you can go 2.001 and ta the same okay now <laughs> there is a thing you can do that i got to learn from shibham who is sitting next for, uh, next to me which is gonna add in a value over here Ta -da! and bring this over here make this subtract and another make this add okay and then plug in a value of okay go in there and go in there and make this 0 0.001 oh sorry <laughs> 0 0.001 and this one as well 0 0.001 right and now what is happening i'm gonna connect that over here and this one oops this one over here all right and make this something like three for the moment so what's happening over here is subtracting uh 0 0.001 which is making it 2.999 which is the same value as here when we are using the third index sorry my bad and similarly over here three point <laughs> okay <laughs> all right we could have done that with some different thing okay let's just plug that Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, so this subtract. It is making this value of 3 to 2.999, and this add is making this 3.001. And now we can control uh, the, obj uh, the object index from this value. So if I press Shift Z over here, see, now we can control 3. We can make this 1 or 2 or 3. Oh, four, which here we want to, and if we make that five, we will not get anything. Ta -da. All of them will end. Things like that. Okay, so this is how it works. Now, uh, the object index is actually taking in consideration only natural numbers, so it doesn't matter if you. Ah, sorry, whole numbers, not natural. <laughs> Zero is included. Whole numbers, so. <laughs> Object index takes only uh, whole numbers to consideration. So if you uh, make this 1.2, it will uh, no, take it as an error. So, <laughs> so you need to, you know, if you want to fix that, you can just make uh, shift D over here and under and make that round off, round over here. And plug that in there as well. Oops, sorry. Ta -da. So this is how it works. Ta -da. Now we can just have it. Between over there and you can see, hey piano, da, 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 da. never mind. Another thing you can do is if you're having negative value, you can just add in another thing over here and make it absolute, and now it will work as positive one point six, and that's done. so. That's basically object index. We went too deep over there. <laughs> never mind. Okay, so next comes uh, the ob material index. So for this one, you're gonna have to. I use what do you call that node group. So without node groups, this is totally useless. So I'm gonna select this, all of this thing, and press Control G, tada, and tab again. Now we have this node group thing over here. Really weird thing. 
and we're gonna go over here and plug this material in this over here and over here okay so make sure you are plugging the material index over there so what we did over here is we made a group so to, if you want to make a group press ctrl g select all the nodes you want to have in a group and press ctrl g so we were thinking of doing this uh, this node as well over here make group and thing and group we'll go through that once we are done with all these things so you know script group layout things eh. all right so looks pretty nice now, each of them is having, and I'm gonna add in a new material over here. And I'm click over there and over there, over there and here. oh, we have that thing over here. <laughs> Die. Okay, okay, okay. Each of them is uh, having material of one. Now, uh, we can go down over here settings, and you can see pass index. So this is similar to the object index over here. This is just uh, the material index. So Gonna make this one so like that make this two four all right now so uh each of them is having a pass index given to them and node group it has this value so now uh it will be treated as three so uh whichever material is having three is going to get affected by the material index over there is that node group so press controls oh uh, if you press shift set now you will see the red color is over here now if I change this to 2, now only 2 will get affected by this node group and then if I pr make it 1, so 1 is getting so I guess you can understand what material index is doing so basically uh, it works with node group each of the node group <laughs> is giving a different material and they are having their own fixed values inside them and each of them uh, works with different uh, node groups so, different uh, material index okay uh, i can't actually explain it you can just you know, go through the video once again and you can just you know try or act like you have understood it because it's really you know not that used at all so uh each of them you know these node groups are giving the same output but then the the only uh, object which is having this uh, what do you call this material index uh <laughs> is uh getting treated with the uh, other color because of the material index which are uh, which we are exploiting over here so and things like that so I can't just explain it any better you have to try it uh, on your own to understand it how it works and it you know it can't be explained if you don't have a node group and uh, I don't know why it is there <laughs> really cool all right anyways let's just get back to our uh, what do you call that Object info. Yeah. The last one, random is left. So you just open up a new blend file. <laughs> That's totally messed up. Okay. And let's just go over here back to node editor and make, I um, mean, add in the object info. Let's just complete the tutorial. Okay. Random. Ta da. So <laughs> what it does is it gives a random value between 0 and 1. So, uh, if we just shift it away and here and here so you can see each of the object will have one random uh, value assigned to their material so you can see this is black this is almost white this is somewhere you know, between white and this color <laughs> lighter gray this is gray and you can just shift it to give it a new material see so this is how random is working each of the object even though they are having the same material they have uh, one random value which is different so uh, this is used this can be used when you are you know, making something you know sometimes uh, using in the particles you can use that uh, just arrange it like. Ooh, sometimes it gets too boring with it Ta -da, today you know I'm you know, pretty much off mode I know what's happening to me I just am not able to make this tutorial we we'll just add in a uh, color HSV node over here and plug the random into the hue and change the color thing like that. And you can see, yay, disco! <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Oh, that crack. All right. So this is uh, basically this thing. So <laughs> it's not in mood to make the tutorial right now. Anyways, so we did this. 
real simple now next uh, we're gonna know in our next video we're going to do uh, hair info we are going to do hair info before particle info because particle info is a really big node and needs a bit of research on this you know velocity and angular velocity to make uh, to help you understand better what these things do and so we're gonna go through hair info first all right so this is it for the object info material i guess you insert each of them other than this material <laughs> index because this is really hectic and complicated to understand unless you know make your own notes as well. use note groups really important unless you won't get anything all right so uh, i hope you understood uh, this note and learned something and uh, subscribe to see our hair info nodes these info nodes are really huh, confusing thing so make sure to watch them subscribe to stay tuned and you can also follow us on facebook at facebook.com slash blender file for tip of the week some things and we hope to see you in our next video till then happy blending and keep practicing and things see ya